Opening the box, I noticed that one of the Diamond Stones uh, screws had come out. That could have been from transportation. It did come from Australia. Uh, it's a quick, easy fix, obviously. Just throw your screwdriver in there and fix it. All good. There was a little bit of scuff marks on the bottom, but again, not a big deal. These are pretty dull. I've used these already. Piece of paper. Makes a couple of barely cuts of paper. So for this they recommend going in one direction. Okay, so this does take some time. You really want to make sure that you have the broadhead situated in the groove, but at the correct angle. So if you're just pushing it straight, you're only going to get the back end. It's got to be up. You know what I mean? When you have it in the grooves, all sides are touching and you just run through. You also have to play with the pressure. So you'll get a certain amount of pressure and then you'll get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter until which time that you've got an edge. Now that's sharp. I did actually cut my finger on this while I was doing this. So I was checking the sharpness. You can also use paper. This is sharp. Yeah, that's that's wicked now. So it's definitely not a one and done. You're not gonna be able to do this a couple times on one side, a couple times on the other. This did take some time. Now this it all depends on the original sharpness of your blade. This blade was fairly dull when I was starting with it, so it did take many, many passes. Total actual sharpening time on the stone probably took around 15 to 20 minutes of just going at different pressures and then lighten it and then lighter and lighter and lighter and keeping, making sure that the blades, all sides of the blades are touching. That's what's great about this is that it's set at the 30 degree angle that you need for these particular broadheads. Uh, I'm fairly certain other two blades will work in here. I don't can't say that for sure because this is the first time I've been using it and I've been using it with this particular head. But the 30 degree angle that this is at is perfect, obviously, for the Oscut heads. Um, another thing you can also try while you're doing this is to take a Sharpie or some sort of black marker and uh, draw lines on the actual blade itself 
and as you're doing it you will see the marker coming off and the blades getting uh, like coming through and becoming more and more sharp and the material coming off. And we will weigh this because there has been some talks of, uh, oh, you know, if you do spend too much time on a sharpener and you're going to be taking too much material off. This is a 150 grain head. And it is 150.2 grains. So it is still at 150 grains as it was when I started. This will also sharpen three blades. This is a three blade hurricane. It's a single bevel broadhead, so it's only sharp on one side of each blade. So normal three blades you'd be able to do in this groove as well. This one you cannot. You're gonna have to use the opposite side. It is more time consuming but you can definitely do it on the back. You'll have to focus on getting that blade touching. And move it down. Flipping it. Flipping it. Another great thing about this sharpener is that it can also work with knives. I believe the previous model had the angled stones on one side and then a finer stone angled um, the same 30 degree angle on the other side. This version now has a flat stone on the back that you can use for sharpening knives and other tools. All in all I think this is a very good product for anyone who has Ozcut broadheads or broadheads in general. Again, I can't say for sure that this is gonna work on every kind of broadhead. If you are a supporter of the Ozcut broadheads, this sharpener will definitely come in handy for you. You can sharpen every broadhead in their line on this, and it's a very effective. It's a great stone. It's very portable. It does have some weight to it, but I kind of like that because I know that I'm getting a solid product. Either way, I think that this will definitely work for you if you're trying to sharpen your broadheads and looking for a different way of doing it than just using a straight sharpener. It can also work for knives and other tools, which is also handy for people in the outdoors. You can pick this up off of their website. They have been sold out when I've tried to get them in the past, so they are a very popular item. Check them out on their website, ozcutbroadheads.com. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share them with your friends and let me know what you'd like to see next.